What we have here is a bracing system that we are using to retrofit older concrete buildings. The design philosophy behind this bracing system is during smaller earthquakes, the building is very stiff, so we're preventing almost any sort of big motion, so we won't have a lot of damage in the building. We have a shaker that's mounted on top of the building, clamped down to the building, that produces over 100,000 pounds of force. And we can produce any sort, of, any sort of harmonic load or non-harmonic load that you might want in the structure. We can actually replicate the El Centro earthquake or the Northridge earthquake. During larger earthquakes, the brace will move. Uh, what you have here are two steel tubes, one inside the other one, and they, there will be relative movement between them. Nobody's really tested anything at this scale uh, in the U.S. The way we're testing it uh, with this large scale shaker that we can put on top of the building. So from a technical perspective, this is very unique. So we allow the brace to move, but inside of the brace we have a material called a shape memory alloy, which once you take load off of it, it returns back to its original shape. So after your earthquake is over, the brace will pull the structure back into shape. So you can allow damage but it's repairable damage because your structure will move back into its original shape. And so what's different about this project is we're really focused not only on understanding how these buildings behave via a realistic large-scale, full-scale test, but also looking at ways that we can retrofit them or rehabilitate them so that they don't collapse and that they're safe in an earthquake.